what happened last time um last time what did we do um Reinheit the conversation with Reinheit um we continued our conversation with Reinheit um how did the conversation go it was Doksha basically cutting through all of like the pleasantries he was cutting through the pleasantries like Reinheit was like saying things and Doksha was kind of like cutting through it like you'd just say something and Reinheit would be like huh eh? and to sum it all up is Doksha um Doksha told Reinheit to give him the scenario because Doksha knew that 700 years ago that Reinheit um found the scenario with all of his comrades and they all died and he was the only one left and that's what led him to create paradise and Doksha again asked for the scenario and kind of pondered if he should fight Reinheit because he thinks he can beat Reinheit but in beating and killing Reinheit would mean the end of paradise and Doksha ne doesn't necessarily want to do that because of the people that are inside of um paradise so we had that and then we had like the warning from abyssal black dragon flame damn i never know the name um telling like telling reinheit to like kind of like be careful of doksha like beware like he's actually like a threat and reinheit kind of alluding to the fact that either him or paradise or something sh like we're not the actual thing to be worried about and then it cut away to like the um damn the perpetual motion like falling and turning black and then we switch over to doksha and huan and they had a conversation and yada 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 led to doksha giving um giving her a sword so glad i remember <laughs> i'm glad i remember it led, it led to him get, um giving her a sword as a gift only that only can be used by her i have to make that clear and it looked really cool so um so yeah that's what happened last time. Let's get into it. All right. 183. Full screen this. You're a real jerk. You know that? Are you really going to leave just like this? My part, in, my part is done in this place. Paradise isn't for me to save. So you're just going to let it flow according to the original novel? It'll be tough to defeat Reinheit right now. And even if I do, the only thing I'll get out of it is a bad story since he has way too many st um, supporters, which makes sense. Um, it looks like um, Su Young with him. Su, Su Young went with him. And it's not something I even thought about if um, someone would go with him. All right, let's, let's say you're right about that. But why did you leave all of your companions behind? We, uh, who mentioned that last week? That's not something I mentioned. Um, looking from the sidelines, that is true. He's kind of just like cruising. Someone did mention like Doksha leaving behind everybody that helped him get to this point. Kind of. I don't know if it's a little too cocky or if it's not a good move. Not sure. I'm not sure. They need to get some time off too. Okay. What? Time off? Come on, be honest. You're sulking right now, aren't you? You've treated them so well all this time, but now they've fallen for some dubious scheme of some demon they only just met. A gamer and a plagiarist walk into a field. <laughs> Especially that girl, Huan. She... It's understandable why Huan made such a choice. She's had a difficult time until now. Bull crap. It's not like you don't know. Paradise will fall soon. Kind of figured that. But I, yeah, so if Paradise is going to fall soon, what is what does Doke should get out of leaving his friends there? Everyone. It's not like it's, he left a person or two there. Uh, I wonder how much longer we have until Soo Young no longer knows what's happening. 
she knows up until chapter 100 if i'm not mistaken but there's no telling with Dokcha changing everything if that knowledge from chapter 100 will come down a little bit right because we've had things that have happened already that's never happened before and we have some things that are moving out of order so that chapter 100 could be 90 could be 80 maybe could still be 100 you never know so we still got a good like 70 ish chapters we're in chapter 31 right so 69 chapters left into the original like the original line that she was at it was chapter 100 right okay <clears throat> let me paradise will fall soon this is too loud sorry y'all turn this off on myself paradise will fall soon and she's still roaming the streets there not knowing what's going to happen just happy over some sword that you gave her hmm. it was her own choice to stay so she'll have to take responsibility for it you're the worst <laughs> then why are you taking me with you because i could use your help damn <laughs> she jawed him damn <laughs> oh. <laughs> i was about to be like damn she jawed the hell out of him what are you doing training i also wouldn't mind taking some time off why why me <laughs> right she can change the faces of her avatars that's funny that is hilarious she was like i would like some time off too so now what we'll forget about the scenario for around three to four days and collect stories by hunting down the hidden pieces okay really i thought you always focus more on the, on the scenarios can you please get that thing to <laughs> i think i'll leave it to the others for once that's right doksha has now hold on um What's the difference between a story and a fable? Why don't we pretend like we're regressors for the time being? Interesting. What's the difference between a story and um, a fable? Is there a difference? They're the same thing. Okay. Gotcha. I don't like that we keep flipping back and forth between translations, but okay. I like fables better. They just like, I think they, they sound more special than, than just stories. Okay, so fables and stories are the same thing. So if I'm not mistaken, Doksha had, Doksha had four fables leading up to, up to the constellation banquet with five being the requirement to become a constellation he was granted temporary status as a constellation even though he didn't meet the requirement he then got he then got one from um what's the the female king he got a story from he got a story from them for saving her and then took tentacios so he technically has six, but one of them is going to be used for you sung when you sung is born or reborn because we have to feed a story or a fable to you sung for her to be fine, I guess. So right now he has six, but really five for him. Am, am I remembering that correctly? Okay, so I see the word story <clears throat> as a general basis of the world. Persephone explained using the word story while fable. It's almost like an item in my mind. I feel like he also wants to be picky with which fable he gets because of... Oh, yeah, the ones he got by himself are all top tier quality. But then insect genocide is something that's crazy too. But then he also mentioned that he didn't, he wouldn't want to give insect genocide to Sung. So I think he's going to give the one that he got from the constellation for saving the king to you, Sung, possibly, and hold on to insect genocide. 
so now what Doksha is saying is he's like why don't we act for, like regressors for the time for the time being what does that mean why don't we pretend like we're regressors for the time being what does that mean that i don't understand my bad job we're about third of the way the fourth of the way through the chapter so Doksha's just gonna go looking for fables then So that so that's what he's okay, all right, all right. He has five. It's just the fifth one is not um, done being told. I do remember that, but then what are we, what are we calling the two that he are that he took from the one he took from Tentacio and the one that he got for saving the king? He probably means he's taking advantage of the hidden things that are around. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, Dreamhawk ran away from his responsibilities, not taking care of those in Korean or mine. Oh, okay. Okay, so just just being, just being, he's just side questing. Let's just put it, let's just make it easy. He's side questing right now. He's not progressing the story, he's just choosing the side quest. Okay, that's ba basically what it is. And knowing that um, Jung Yak is like a gamer and he would just go off and do stuff, it would make sense that he would go side questing and just re refuse to actually progress along what he's supposed to do. Okay, so, all right, all right, gotcha. All right. My bad, my bad for derailing. <laughs> my, my bad for derailing. All right, why don't we pretend like we're regressors for the time being? Chapter or Doksha Kim's love. Oh, I keep forgetting that's the, the prophecy. I believe it's five stories with reverse to the legendary ones. Smaller ones exist, don't count towards the goal. Okay, thank you, Heath. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. All right, chapter 32. Moved up a chapter. Pa rattle. I said paddle. Rattle. Rattle. What's that? Oh! These are the thing. These are are these from the other. Whoa, that looks like from the from that other. Was that other world? The uh, the other gods. That's what that looks like for a split second. Like this coming through here, and you looking at all this. And then who's this? Is it the pinky? Again, that dream of paradise falling into ruin. Okay, okay, that's what it is. My bad. Do I keep dreaming the same dream? Because I declined the offer to become the captain of the guards here. Oh no, this is Yuan. I'm bugging. <laughs> My bad. <clears throat> Every time I wake up from dreaming, I find the sword Doksha left left me crying out. The sword of judgment only cries out when there's evil nearby. But I haven't seen anything that resembles evil anywhere in the city. It's either something that's in like the bowels of the city or it's Reinhardt himself. Excuse me. We've been abandoned. <laughs> there goes that kid again. Doksha's abandoned us all. So we can finally relax. What's the matter with you? Yo Young is just like, I was only able to spend a little bit of time with him. Y'all all got to do stuff. I was passed out. I woke up. I gave him a hug and then we got here and he dipped. What the hell? <laughs> do you know the reason why main characters abandoned their allies? Why? It's because their allies end up getting in their way. Silence. We've been determined to be useless right now. <laughs> How can you think he's the main character? Master should be the main character if anyone. Well, technically they both are. This isn't a novel or a webtoon, kid. <laughs> but these last four days have been much too peaceful. All we did during that time was train our skills in our free time and reflect back on the advice Doksha left us. 
Oh, so he gave them things that they that they needed to do before he left. Okay. Gil Young, you need to make your skills last longer. Yeah, we know he struggles with that. But then we know that he's kind of a little psycho when he activates his stuff. If you have any coins to spare, I recommend that you buy Patience or Indomitable Persistence. You can use the auction or ask your supporting constellation for help. So I said, you song will basically become Trump in the future. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. GA. You invested too many points into agility. If you have any coins left, spend them to raise your strength or mana. Your fighting style will change drastically depending on which attribute you choose to invest in. You sung. You should focus on maxing out your taming and advanced interspecies communication. If you need any other taming related skills, I can always help you. Hey, Beast Kid. What? Do you know what Doksha used to do? Why do you ask that? I thought you'd know since you're his incarnation. Incarnations learn more about their supporting constellations as they grow more in sync with them, right? I never even thought that could have been a thing. I never even thought that could have been a thing. That she could learn more about Doksha. Mm. Can't wait until the day when we finally acknowledge Gil Young's going cycle. I... No, I, I never did. I never did. He went sicko. Nah, he went crazy. He was bugged out. He had the crazy eyes and everything. And we never, the series never touched back on it, but I ain't never forget. The boy went crazy. The boy went insane. All right, all right. This is interesting, though. All right. Doksha is a lonely man. <laughs> That's just something anyone can say. And he also loves to read. Read? When I think of him, I get images of numerous pages. Although I can't really tell what they are or read what's written on them. What? What? That's all I know for now. I haven't even received the stigma yet. I didn't mean to lower her spirit. What? That army man is at it again. What did he tell um Young Sung? Hmm. All right, Yuan, is there something you're worried about? May I? It's nothing. I've been thinking way too much since things have been peace have been so peaceful as of late. It's the same for me. <laughs> Constellation Demonic Judge of Fire is dissatisfied with Young Sung Lee's actions. Why? Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Constellation Demonic Judge of Fire gives a warning to Master of Steel. Master of Steel says that it's not something he can intervene in. Hmm? Is that all he wanted to say? I am sure that this piece comes at a cost. You must believe that Doksha left us here for a reason. That's the kind of person he is. It's up to us to find that reason. Keep forgetting who Demonic Judge of Fire actually is. My bad. So it's like as soon as I think about who Demonic Judge of Fire actually is, it's like, oh. <laughs> Give us back the scenarios. Give them back. These must be the people that got here recently. We want to move on to the next floor. Protesters in paradise. Why is it that they want to go back to participating in the scenarios? What, what's going to happen to them? Why? Oh, wait. Oh, don't don't mess with them. Don't mess with them. They made it this far. Last thing they need is to get to paradise and then something happened to them. They've been through too much. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. Those, those two are from Guemos. Gue, gu, I did this last week. 
Glemho Station. <laughs> I'm not part of the protest. Hold on. Everyone calm down and take a step back. This is too much. We're on official duty. Please do not interfere. I just happened to be passing by. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Damn. Wait, she isn't a protester. What should we do with that woman? Leave her. We have orders from the Lord. She is a protester. She started running away the moment we started chasing her. Anyone would start running away if you started chasing them. Why would she run if she has done... This makes this... Oh, this is pissing me off. <laughs> oh, this is pissing me off. This is pissing me off. Why would she run if she hasn't done nothing wrong? Her crimes will soon be revealed. We don't have time to waste. Take them away. I said wait! <laughs> Although the Lord has ordered us to leave you alone, we will arrest you if you interfere with us again. Bro. That's just... Oh, we're done? It's gonna be hot, bro. Chapters finished. Ugh. This got me pissed. Oh, this got me so mad. You gotta end like that? Ugh, these chapters are teases, man. Ugh, teases. Freaking teases. Now, it pisses me off, though. I. I hate this. This. This right here. I hate this. She started running away the moment we started chasing her. Anyone. It's just like. I hate that. And why would she run if she has done nothing wrong, bro? I I can't. I hate that. That just it presses on a nerve. I, I can't stand it. I hate that. What do you. You just, you just, ah. Uh, what do you, what do you, ah. Uh, uh, I need some constitution changes. Comments are safe to read. I usually, sometimes, uh, not even usually. If anything, I'll look at like the first one. Oh. <laughs> Once again. <laughs> Gotcha. I, I was like, I'm like, why, I was like, why would demonic judge? Oh, that's right. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I understand. Oh, it, for, I always, it always blinks my mind who, who that actually is. That it's actually Uriel. Bro, I can't stand this, man. What do you expect from a city run by a demon? Now, I just, I don't like this in, in general. Right, I, I half expect this because we watched, we watched last, was that last chapter? The last two chapters, they showed that same guy getting dragged through the city because he stole. Like he stole, got dragged to a dungeon, and then it was just weeping and gnashing of teeth. <clears throat> and, and the guy's probably dead. He stole and he died for it. So protesting, oops, right, protesting, um... protesting and then like trying to fight back that's that's right in the wheelhouse right in the wheelhouse of course they would be doing something like that you know of course but i just i i hope nothing happens to this this woman and her daughter because i wouldn't be fair it wouldn't be fair it would just suck protesting where do they think they are <laughs> the fact that it was like they're protesters. It's like, where are you taking them? Are you gonna take? You just gonna drag them to the dungeons and feed what's ever in the dungeons? Is that what you're gonna do? Freak, man.
And I do wonder. I do wonder why Doksha is choosing to leave them in paradise. Like, is he, is he, I'm not saying he's leaving them to die because he clearly has given them instructions. But, um, what is, like, is he going to come back at, like, when, when things are at, like, the climax so things don't get too out of hand? Is he going to just leave them to navigate navigate this is this just going to be like a lesson for them where take this as a lesson i'm going to leave you guys here i'm going to give you guys instructions on what you guys should be doing like where you should go how you should think what you should focus on don't just sit here and do nothing right don't it's like yes you're here to get a break things have been crazy ever since all this has started so you guys deserve to have this time off but don't just sit around and do nothing with this time off. At least continue to be focused, right? Don't completely take your mind off of, of everything. So I'm wondering if this is going to be more so of a lesson to show them that. Um, so Young said he was letting it go according to the original story. <laughs> yeah. But it was just like let, kind of like letting it go so it's like paradise is going to be destroyed but i'm just trying to figure out why leave why leave your people there it's like okay i'm gonna let paradise go i care about the i care about all the people that i have right it's like i, I care about all the people i have so why would i leave them in a place that's destined to be destroyed i'm like i'm trying to think is if he's giving them a lesson to show them to never take something at face value and i know some might be like well they go through so much you think they would do that but then look at when all of them got to paradise just like you got there and it's been four days and you guys are already like in la la land you guys got a you got a a, a whiff of um a whiff of of relief of freedom and you guys have completely just let go of all drive. So, so that's why that's why I'm I'm guessing he's leaving them there. So when things start to happen, to show them that never take something at face value. Never, never do that. That's my only thing I can think of. What's up, Vortex? How are you? Happy Tuesday. Hopefully you're doing. Hopefully you're doing good. Goodness gracious. What a moment. So that's my only thing I can think of by leaving them there. Or, it, well, no, it's not the only thing. These are the only two things. It's that and, um, <coughs> it's that and, um, him telling too young, like, we're going to go be regressors for a while and just go side questing. Maybe there's some things that he wants to do that he doesn't want them to be around for. Or I'm going to go I'm going to go get this thing. I'm going to go do that thing. I'm going to do this. I'm going to get that. I'm going to do this. I'm going to get that. And it would be easier to just do it with the two of us and not with everyone and have to explain something or whatnot. I don't know. It could be something like that too. I'll go do like comics. Yeah, I do. So I'm it's probably one of those two things. Very interesting. I'm still I want to see how this unfolds. Like, why would he have left them? I want to see what he said to Young Sung, because we got to see the conversation with Yuan, and then we got to look back at what you what he told Sung, Ga, and Gil Young. It's like, what did he tell Young Sung? Did he even have a conversation with him? I would assume so. <laughs> curious, very curious. scroll through this I don't want nothing to happen to the lady this is interesting though for her to think about Doksha and just get hit with the fourth wall it's, it's, it's funny and this is the first time that we've seen the first wall since seeing the first wall actually 
<laughs> this would be the first time that we see the, fir the fir fourth wall since seeing it. But I do wonder if this is more so of a barrier fourth wall stopping you sung from seeing more about doksha or could there be some weird possibility that the closer she gets with doksha could she end up getting a glimpse at these pages maybe being able to read them a little bit i don't know i don't know i'm i'm wondering now i'm now i'm i'm curious about that now I'm curious about that. I do wonder. Do wonder if that could be a possibility. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> this chapter was shorter than I thought it was. Like at the beginning, I thought it was going to be a, the Mr. Around Doksha author. The world always gives me a high. It's, it's always messing with you, man. Always. It always messes. Just when you think it can't get, ah. just when you think it can't get any crazier, it gets crazier. But then, for me, I've never been able to, um, I've never been able to properly gauge the series at all. I've never been able to properly gauge the series, so <sighs> I don't know. Like I have no idea where this is gonna go. Um, I wonder if the stigma Yusung will get is one of Doksha skills like bookmark and maybe even fourth wall. That would be crazy for her. For her, if she were to, if he were to get more incarnations, and there's a possibility of her of them getting like the fourth wall as a stigma or something similar to it, that would be crazy. But with all of the galaxy brain time shenanigans with meeting different Yusungs and all of this, I wouldn't be surprised if her stigma was the fourth wall. But what? But then what would that even do? Like her getting that stigma, what would that even do? What would that change her consciousness to be? Ah, I can't. I my brain. I can't even comprehend that. My brain's. I can't even. I don't even know how to think about that. You suddenly becomes emotionless and treats others as side characters. Maybe they'll bring a crazy dynamic between having a character having the fourth wall and living in. Right. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. And too young until chapter a hundred or so but yeah it's crazy it's crazy i now that i'm thinking about it and mentioning that what did i just clear sorry thinking about it um there i'm i'm pretty sure now especially with dokabi you sung about to be born and then you have, you have our Yusung. Like, there's gotta be, there's gotta be something more with Yusung. Like something massive that's gonna happen. Has to be. I feel like she has, she's gotten so much focus as far as side characters go. Like, it's, it's, she's the one that has like the most intrigue outside of like Junyak. Like she has the most intrigue or she has like the highest like ceiling. Stigma comes with a side effect. It's constra constraints and conditions. Yeah. What would she have to do to even like complete the stigma? That's something I'm, I'm wondering because we see what Young Sung is going through. What would she have to do? Hmm. Hmm. What would ha- like, okay, so. Well, like, would, let's say she gets a stigma. <laughs> Objective, finesse, zero out of 10 MP. <laughs> I'm thinking, 
I'm thinking what what happens like what you're saying Barry if a character becomes aware right not even like just becoming like being able to understand like joke show like it's aware like you become aware Read TWSA. <laughs> it's like to become aware is something. That when that that would end up, you would end up in a similar situation as um Oscar. Would probability like what would ha would probability kick in? Would, would probability kick in if that happened? If she became aware? Like, it's just like she's a character and now she's just like, wait, this is a story? I don't even know. I can't, my brain, I can't compute. I can't compute. I mean, what happened to Dr. Doom when he became a fifth, fifth dimensional being? He went crazy. <laughs> Maybe Doxa Sigma is the ultimate catch twenty two. Yeah. Ah. 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 Yeah. That's true. That is true. That is true. He might be the only one that can handle it, or maybe he's just bad shit. Right? Maybe that might actually be a thing. Maybe this isn't happening. Maybe he's in a hospital somewhere. <laughs> we already saw real people becoming characters so characters like you son becoming real people is not something crazy i mean this whole series is about fiction really mixing it together it's i know when i'm thinking about i feel like becoming a character for whatever reason it's just like oh that makes sense to me if you if i only am aware of this finite like this scope if i'm only aware of that and my knowledge only takes me so far and then I'm forced to move outside of my knowledge. I can see being swallowed up by it. And then just kind of being like absorbed into like the ether. But what happens if something from that ether like walks its way into like this this sphere and it's like, oh, wait. I don't it's like I don't know having everything that you think is normal be tore down would be kind of I don't even know how to like even comprehend it is a character being aware of fourth wall possible technically it sounds like the most impossible thing so I might get the hot that's what that's what I'm trying I'm trying to figure out like what's what would happen for a character to become aware of everything that's going on because to doksha he's still nirvana became aware briefly yeah and then didn't nirvana yeah and then nirvana got deleted yeah can come around with right and then and then ceased to exist after that Every time it has happened to a character, they were eaten. Nirvana was in the mindscape where, where yeah, there was no probability cost and just was like, be, be, yeah, that's right. Because Nirvana was reading exactly what Nirvana was thinking about. Like Nirvana was thinking something and reading it. See, that would, that would freak me the hell out. I don't even know how I would react to that. Like if I'm in something and I'm reading something and as I'm reading something and I'm thinking and I'm reading what I'm thinking. I mean, what the, the fuck, what's going on? <laughs> like, what's that? I feel like that that is, yeah, that's mind breaking. I feel like that's a little bit too much. You, ah, yeah. <laughs> I can't even like, t I can't even, just the idea. It doesn't even register properly. 
That'd, that'd be crazy. I can't, I can't imagine reading something. I mean, like, wait a minute. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe the fourth wall is limited by probability too. Um, I feel like we're confusing the concept of the fourth wall and the skill that Doksha has. Are we? Not, well, I'm not thinking about Omniscient Reader's viewpoint. But I feel like the fourth wall is something that we still don't understand because whenever we first got to that point, I'm like, I never thought of the fourth wall being like a like like one of Doksha's skills that he uses all the time. The fourth wall is the skill. That's right, because it says fourth wall activates. I have no idea. But it's, it's, it's something that was always on, like, autopilot, so I don't even think about. I don't know. I am confused. Whatever. <laughs> this is where this series is. It gets galaxy brain. I get lost. I'm telling you, I, I keep it here. And then if I start going up here, right? It's like I, I go up here. Just, uh, ah, poof fourth wall evolving we saw it. that's how it's kind of like whenever the fourth wall was speaking and what is the word every time i always forget the fourth wall is because i initially i don't know why i initially read it as envious but it wasn't envious the fourth wall is possessive that's not the word it was that was used but the fourth wall is like possessive of doksha in a sense did i save that i always forget the exact word that was used right here Covetous gaze, that's what it was. Look gluttonous after it learned to get covetous. It looked at you with a covetous gaze. Like the fourth wall covets Doksha. That's like the to covet something? Covet strong. That's a strong word. It's a strong action. For this entity, <laughs> this self-aware entity to covet you as it's, it's smiling at you and it's coveting you, that's, I can't comprehend it. I can't comprehend it. I can't. It covets Doksha. covetous gaze we know that the fourth wall appreciates doksha for the experiences that it's that it's getting to have by being with him the information that's acquired like i don't even know what to make of it that's still i'm not understanding the fourth wall is going to be something You remember watching that reaction in the moment? Oh, that sucks. It sucks. I'm sorry. I can't, it's something ah. Like thinking about it, I still can't even comprehend it. Can't. That's still that's still one of my favorite moments of the whole series. I, I haven't gone back and rewatched that reaction either. I haven't. I I should. <laughs> fourth wall needed was lip smacking sounds and a tongue that swipes around yeah a covetous gaze that's scary bro 
It's like Doke's just like, dude. So the the thought that the fourth wall is just something more. I feel like the fourth wall sounds toxic. Fourth wall, it low key scares me. Like when I think of the fourth wall, I think of like standing at the edge of a cliff and looking off the precipice, like looking down into the nothingness. You don't know what's down there. It could be anything. It's vast. It's wide. It's just darkness. You have no idea what's at the bottom. You don't know if there is a bottom, if you're being honest. But it's right there. <laughs> it's right there. But it's right there. That's what the fourth wall feels like to me. The fourth wall is right there. And the fourth wall has been covering for you. And it's something that you've never been in control of. Never been in control of it. And the more you do, the more it gets and the more it grows. And there's nothing that you can do about it. That's what's, that's what's, that's what's, that what, that bugs me out. Isn't Doke Show on one side while the rest of the story world is on the other side? That's what it feels like. That's what it feels like. Remember how it's impossible for Doke Show to look at his attributes and skills? Yeah. I have a theory that it's a side effect of the fourth wall protecting Doke Show of everything. I, 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 think th I think that could be possible. I think that's on the money. I think that's on the money. Oh, excuse me. I do think that's on the money. Yeah, fourth wall. Fourth wall is the creepiest thing in this series. Yeah, a normal person should not see status. No. I'm the fourth wall is like the the creepiest thing in this series, for real, for real. And it's the fact that since the moment it made itself aware, it's been gone. It's been gone. That that's that has me on edge even more. That has me on edge even more. I I'm, it's like I'm thinking of like different scenarios where it's like you could be somewhere and something that is possibly smarter than you, stronger than you, its existence is greater than yours makes itself aware to you once and then never and, and then just disappears never shows his face again i i i, I would be uh, <laughs> Woo! i don't that got the gears turning to my brain Is it silently in effect or Doksha is protecting himself using constellation stuff? Also, others can see his face now. So is is fourth wall working? I don't know. I don't know. What? That's right. Was fourth wall blocking Doksha's face? That's a, that's a question. Do we think fourth wall was blocking his face? I think it's a safe assumption to say, yeah. I would safely assume that, yeah, fourth wall was doing something. Or I guess I, that does go in tandem with fourth wall. Um, what else would have been censoring his face? I don't, I was, I was trying to think of it from like a meta sense where, um, maybe since he's never fully been in the series, right? Um, he's never been fully in the series. So it's kind of like he's dissociated from the series. He's always kept himself in. This is not real life. And, and the fourth wall helps him with that. The fourth wall keeps real world and story separate that's why it starts to shake violently when it gets a little too close 
so i guess it it is fourth wall but i kind of i'm thinking like maybe it's like he just dis disassociates and now he's getting a little bit a little bit too deep a little bit too deep in his constellation he's getting deeper into the story and stuff he's just he's more in now than he was before All right that's so i'm i don't know i'm thinking i'm thinking more so of that so it's like he's just he's he's in deep now he still understands that it's a story but it's, he's a little he's a little bit deeper something like that and maybe some things are a little i don't know i don't know you don't know seth Jono say I have no idea. I have no idea. Buddy. Yeah, um, yeah, it was. Because everyone saw his face as blurry. Right, and Jie wasn't even capable of remembering his face. Now she could see it because Dokusha is a constellation. And he's being fun to, and he's a being fundamentally superior. The so fourth wall doesn't have to protect him as hard as before. Okay. I I I could buy that. I could buy that. 100 percent That makes sense to me. For now that that makes sense to me. That makes sense. An explanation like that, I can I, I could buy it. I dig it. I do dig it. I do dig it. Him being a constellation and being stronger would make more sense that fourth wall isn't active because fourth wall, I wouldn't say isn't active, isn't stepping in because there's more of a, a separation and a barrier now. But I feel, I don't know, because if Doksha becomes a constellation and he then has to now start dealing more with the star stream dealing more with the universe possibly dealing with these other gods and all of these different things i feel like the fourth wall i don't know actually now that i'm like saying it out loud would those things require the fourth wall to step in because all of those things are things that he never dealt with in his normal day-to-day -day, no way so it's like would it need to step in for that stuff Unless it's slamming him in the face with life. I don't know. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. All right. Hmm. Serious makes my head hurt sometimes. <laughs> Serious makes my head hurt sometimes. It's so there's so much thought that could be put into this series. Have a good one. Have a good one. I see it. If Constellations realized how different Doksha is, he would be in danger. Yeah. Yeah. You, you are right about that. You are right about that. Because he's already on everybody's radar as it is. Because of the nature of him becoming a Constellation. So if they were to somehow get more information about him, how they would get it, I don't know. But if they somehow were to get it, that could prove to be like really bad. It would be really bad. But I think that's where the fourth wall comes in the, in the play. Because if fourth wall, like let's say fourth wall is protecting Doksha even from any incarnations he might get in the future where it's like they try to think about dog show they try to find out about him and it's like fourth wall blocks them from it they can't even they can't even view it all right then to my girlfriend she finished the novel psycho enjoy seeing me full of questions and things <laughs> stay strong stay strong stay strong don't read ahead don't read ahead ah. that would be just thinking about that dynamic if they try to like get the one up on him, it would prove to be bad. Man, I didn't even know. This damn series has got me, got my brain doing flips and dips right now. So much. <laughs>